Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to be talking about activity diagrams, which is another kind of UML diagram, and it is also a behavioral diagram, like the use cases, that actually shows the specific behavior of a program. So, activity diagrams are the ones we have here, and in this video I'll be explaining the elements of an activity di diagram. So, the activity diagram always have like a spot, which often is a black dot, and then a which is like the beginning of the program, and the black dot with a black line around, which is like the end of the program. And then we will just be going through the program through different stages, and it's very, very much constructed around like an if else statement, which is like a condition. Oh, it, it's often it's like if else in in software, but here it could be you could have multiple options. Some we can have like a yes or a no or like a, like a one thing or another thing or but often it's just used as a true or false. So we have the black dot which is the beginning of our like activity we'll be going through. Then we have an action which is something that happens. So this is just a plan UML example. So it doesn't make too much sense, but in the next video we actually have a, like a proper example. But the black dot. Then we have an action, an action. And again, we use arrows to show like uh, this to show direction through our activity. Then we have a, as mentioned, a condition check. So in this case, page on security check if it's true. Then we go down this road. If it's false, we go down this road. So let's just say it's true. Move forward, move forward, and again we have another one asking a condition. Where would you rather go? True, or false, and or yes or no. And in this day. In this case, continue processing. For example, if we go no, the program would just stop running, which makes sense. But let's just keep going. This post, another condition check. Yes, no. And then we have a node, which kind of like um, gathers multiple points together. So the connection node, for example, we have like, in this case, we would just move forward. We would skip something, and then we would connect down here again. We keep going, another condition check multiple condition checks and in the end we end at the end point which is our black circle with the line around. So the activity diagram is used to show some kind of activity of the diagram often and it can be easier to understand because it's a visual representation of code kinda and let's just have a quick look at the planned UML which is pretty much written in code where you would actually use like a start and then you just go through like one action and another action and then we simply use if as our condition checks and you can of course give them a different names but so it's kind of written very much like code and it is primarily used to show a specific activity of how we would walk through a program and what would happen in the case of for example a true or false so that's all I have for now. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.